Building and slapping together a gaming PC is crazy fun and since you 9 times out of 10 saves money by doing it yourself, I seriously don't see a reason why you wouldn't take that opportunity. There are however a couple of common mistakes I see people make, mistakes that can easily be avoided. By the way guys, I was a terrible PC builder when I started out. In this video we're gonna look at the top 10 common mistakes to avoid when building your first gaming PC. Let's go! Hey how is it? It going guys robin here on chips media bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on this channel you'll find pc components tech gadgets and console accessories as well as product reviews so if you're interested in that consider subscribing in this video we're diving into the most common mistakes when building a gaming pc for the first time and yeah we started with number one don't over tighten things hey there is no reason to put all your force into the tiniest screws because you may you just strip your screws or even worse you may even break something pc parts and components are expensive and fragile and this won't be covered by the warranty so be a bit careful guys especially with the cpu and the cpu socket pins number two install cpu the cpu cooler and the ram outside of the case and then put the whole unit inside trust me guys you won't regret this one number three get the right parts many new pc parts are backward compatible with earlier generations like usb 3 and sata 6 even pcie ports are backward compatible now does that mean that everything is backward compatible of course not memory modules for example are not you can't put a ddr3 module into a ddr4 slot it, it won't fit same goes for cpu sockets and processors as well now if you don't want to spend time learning these things have a look in the description I'd line up a few videos with pc parts picked for you right away number four look for popular and high rated pc components a high rated pc part with many reviews means that there is a lot of people out there already owning that particular pc part and if you run into any trouble chances are going to be much greater that somebody else have already experienced the same thing maybe already solved the issue and posted a workaround in his or her blog or any forums online don't underestimate google here guys i really encourage you to follow this advice happened to me countless of times where i've been stuck troubleshooting and google have saved my butt this will save you a ton of headache I promise. By the way, that nonsense crap of using ESD protection gear, that era is all behind us. Makes me giggle a bit seeing people talk about protection like if it's 1990. Technology has evolved. I built a ton of computers over the years. It is okay guys, you don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Jay did an experiment not that long ago. I'll link that down below. Number six, let's talk cases. You gotta make sure you get a case that meets your motherboard standard. Let's say you're buying a ATX motherboard, for example. Now you gotta make sure the case you're gonna be using supports that standard as well. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. And the good thing is, unless you're specifically looking into building something smaller and tinier, and you're tapping into the smaller category of cases out there, you're gonna be right here but just to be on the safe side simply look up what fitting standard your motherboard has jump over to the case you want to buy look for the fitting standard somewhere on the page simple as that number seven power supply unit this is pretty simple if you buy in a regular standard sized case you're nine times out of ten gonna be perfectly fine here but if you want to go fancy and go smaller you have to be sure that the power supply space in the case is big enough typically modular power supply units requires more clearance than non modular ones in most cases you're gonna be fine here number eight wait until you get a proper boot before you start cleaning things up by doing so you avoid the frustration of having to disconnect reconnect reroute and organize the cables again number nine and this is a bonus tip don't ever vacuuming your case 
It's just a bad idea. And number 10, this is not a pitfall, it's just a reminder. Don't forget to have fun. Guys, this video was made to simply show that building a computer is not rocket science shit. Guys, building is fun as hell. Time is, however, the most valuable thing that we got. So if you don't have the time, I totally get that. But if you're lazy or don't think you can do it, get your shit together and start building because it's never been easier to build your own epic PC. Nobody's perfect, right? Let me know in the comments your biggest mistakes.